think I need a ladder in order to, to become eye level with you. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to find out, you know, when you became a professional wrestler, was that always your dream, your goal? Well, you know, I never knew I was going to become a professional wrestler. I always thought I was going to be a pro football player. You know, I, I wanted to be a, a lawyer, you know. And um, the way things happen, sure enough, I, I ended up becoming a, a professional wrestler only because my dad made me play every single sport. Never wrestling, though. And sure enough, lo and behold, I became a pro wrestler. And then I got hurt, went to law school, got my JD, and now, hey, now we're running for senator. So, you know, it's, it's uh, sports are, are a catapult, you know, for, for just about all these guys. You know, right now, uh, I'm going to be the first uh, professional athlete, you know, running for political office. And what's going to be great is, is you have hundreds and hundreds of professional athletes moving here. I mean, we're making history right now. Las Vegas is, is really making history. We're going to have all these guys coming in with their families, right? We got the we have the Raiders, we got the Golden Knights, which I just incredible. Last night I went to the game and, and I got goosebumps just thinking about it. That's how great they did. But it was so great for the economy. And people say that we're a transient, you know, state. Absolutely not. You, if you saw those people last night, they came together. You know, we're proud. We're happy. It's great for our economy. It's great for our community. And at the end of the day, you know, we're just going to keep thriving. Well, Dan, you know, I remember interviewing the coach, the owner, before we even had the team of Golden Knights. They, were, they, they didn't have a player yet. And there were so many naysayers saying, we shouldn't bring hockey. How, why are we bringing the Raiders in? I'm sure you had some naysayers in your life. And if you did, how did you deal with it? Well, you know, you just can't give up. And this is what I tell these children. You know, I talk to kids all the time. You know, and, and, and you know, when times get hard or when it gets difficult, you know, you're going to fail. Everybody fails. But you know what? It's all about getting up and taking it to the next level. You don't give up, and you're going to eventually succeed. You just got to set your goals high. I mean, these guys right here, these guys are the, you know, this is the, the, the cream of the crop. The best players in the NFL, the best players in football. And you could ask any one of them, I guarantee they had their pitfalls. But they got up, and now we're here honoring them, you know, and, you know, getting their autographs. You know, it's such an honor to be around these guys. But everybody can succeed if you push, 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 and, and you never give up. Well, Dan, it was so awesome meeting you here. Who is this gorgeous? Oh, my goodness gracious. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> this is Violet. Oh. Violet's two years old. She's one of my five children. She's the youngest. Oh, my God. So. Who is this? Who is this? Say, can you say daddy? You're a little yeah. camera shot? <laughs> That's okay. I'm surprised. So this one right here is going to be our, our, our next professional athlete someday. Right. Well, thank you, Dan, so much. Oh, oh the rest of the family <laughs> here. <laughs> Look. Cheerleaders for kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got two of them here. <laughs> uh, uh, Valentine is four, oh. and, and Violet's two and a half. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you so much. A family man, you know, a, a successful um, sports and hopefully a politician, a successful politician, right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.